From branding parents speaking out against critical race theory and deviant ideology in schools as terrorists to the Mar-a-Lago raid, the completely corrupt and criminal Justice Department transforms pre-election political opposition into national security threats. The infamous DOJ letter on schools was sent out a month before the gubernatorial election in Virginia, where the National School Board Association, not to mention much of the D.C. establishment, is based. The clueless and oblivious DOJ operatives plan to scare and intimidate average moms and dads backfired and helped elect Governor Glenn Youngkin and nearly toppled New Jersey's iniquitous incumbent Democrat governor. The Steele dossier, the Mueller investigation, the Mar-a-Lago raid, and everything before and after are part of the larger Spygate continuum, which is marked by the use of national security tools to suppress the political opposition especially before and during elections. The claims of national security, whether they involve the Russians or classified documents, are just a tactic that allowed Democrat officials to wield virtually unlimited investigative powers cloaked in secrecy. Beyond the details of these investigations, which turn as hollow as Steele or Mueller on closer examination, is the larger construct of a crisis that is described as a threat to democracy. The threat to democracy is shorthand for a threat to Democrats. The source of that threat are conservatives and Republicans. The vectors of that threat can be described as coming from Russia, school board parents, electoral activism, or disinformation on the internet. The common denominator is that political activities, which are inherently democratic, speech, protest and electioneering, are defined as a national security threat to democracy. The net of this crisis extends from individuals posting on social media to political candidates and institutions. Meeting the threat to democracy requires the government to monitor social media and for social media companies to censor unapproved speech, for candidates who believe the wrong things to be barred from office, for the IRS to investigate conservative nonprofits, for companies to be pressured into pulling donations to conservative candidates and for the military to be prepared to intervene once again in the event of another grave threat to democracy. The threat to democracy or rather the republic here is coming from the Democrats. The spygate targeting of Trump is only one strand of a number of threads drawing together to criminalize opposition to leftist agendas. Cancel culture had already contrived to economically punish speech. The next step was criminal investigations of people who opposed and stood up to Black Lives Matter race rioters or drove over or painted over BLM's racial supremacist slogan on streets. The underlying rationale was that racism was a public health crisis and another threat to democracy. Those who would not take a knee and admit their privilege were perpetuating the crisis and posed a threat to the nation at large. The same collectivist machinery is being ramped up to enforce global warming dogma by using financial institutions, insurance companies, SEC regulations, real estate codes and countless other financial interventions to extra-legislatively impose the Green New Deal, punishing companies and individuals until they conform, 